Guys, I'm editing my best songs video, and oh my gosh, I spent half an hour downloading all these photos. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, what's up? Off to a very amazing start. Well, when all my, all my shit just fell onto the fucking ground once again because my desk is totally in a good shape. Off to another great start, I just cleaned up my chair and this happened again within two minutes. Awesome stuff, my desk is totally in a good shape. Alright, um, it's currently 2.21 in the morning right now on December 31st, the last day of 2018, and I'm, I'm kind of fucked, actually. Um, I am, I did do some revision for the exam, but, um... I didn't do any in-depth uh, and wholesome and complete revision. It's all just skims and scans and, you know, just loose revisions. I'm kind of worried and I don't have time. 25 hours a day is still not enough because I am yet to start a GoFundMe page for my next short film. I um, I have to, you know, do exercises so that I don't die. All right, this is better. Uh, yeah, um, I'm gonna try and revise some physics and some Chinese reading right now, and hopefully I don't completely die in the exam. Um, it's, um, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna fool myself into thinking that I'm gonna somehow make it. That's all I'm trying to say. I, I don't wanna feel like there's a a chance. The time is 2.53 a.m. in the morning, and I just finished revising physics with the orbital periods and gravitational forces and all. And now we have Chinese, which, of course, it's the best subject in the world. It's, uh, it's, yeah, look. We have to, uh, we have to test all five of these passages that dates all the way back to 500 BC. Uh, actually, the oldest one here is uh, this one, 300 and something BC. And uh, we have four uh, Chinese exams in total. As you can see, reading, writing, uh, integration, which is a mix of listening and, you know, writing as well, and speaking, which... Uh, yeah, all of them sucks. I've been trying to put toothpaste onto my toothbrush and every time it falls off like cream. Twice. It's 9.49, I haven't had dinner, and oh my gosh, every time I try to pull it over, okay, I need to highlight this. Please, oh finally, the fuck. All right, we're on. Um, I've been wanting to um do this video for a while because I, I would really want to, you know, you know, go through this, this, this phase and, uh, while commentating on it, because I feel like doing so. Um, so today is January 1st and it's 6.54 p.m. And tomorrow will be the exam day one. And, um, it's, it's going to be quite uh, intense, uh, the first week is not going to be that intense, but the second week is what will, what really hits hard, uh, because you have, uh, LS essay writing on the first day of the second week, the second day is Chinese listening and integration, which is, um, is one of the most intense exams ever. <laughs> Number three, on the third day, Wednesday, we will have Chinese reading, which is easily the most difficult thing uh, you will ever come across in an exam, ever, across the world. Uh, yeah. And um, on Thursday, we'll have, uh, I, I think, uh, chemistry, or was it biology, but either way, they're both really tough. Chemistry, uh, it's just a very annoying subject. I used to love chemistry, uh, 
But right now, I find it hard to believe that I used to love chemistry because now chemistry just seems like this super annoying, uh, uh, you know, r review of these things about molecules and reactions between chemicals. And it's all just not interesting at all. And they're really tough, really complicated. But what's even more complicated, it's biology. Extremely sophisticated, and our syllabus this year is extremely large. Uh, but um, we also have physics on the third week. Uh, and um, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty difficult as well. I, I don't know why, but physics are beginning to be extremely confusing. Um, um, you know, we have all sorts of equations. It's not just one equation, not just one formula. There are like 20 formulas. What I'm trying to say is I I don't I don't know which formula to use sometimes. Like um centripetal acceleration equals to v square minus uh, v square divided by r um which is um, velocity squared divided by radius, but then centripetal acceleration also equals to radius times angular speed squared so which one do we use it's um you you need to figure out that one and on the first week it's also going to be kind of intense but not as intense i guess the, the biggest challenge will be tomorrow because tomorrow i'm gonna have the chinese writing exam and um and then immediately after chinese writing we have English writing, so as if our hands would be able to function after the whole thing. Uh, I really don't know how to uh, revise for Chinese writing. Um, I, uh, <laughs> you know, they're going to give you three questions, and you have to pick one out of the three. Number one, you write a story, and that is a high-risk, high-reward question. And number two... Uh, you know, you describe something. That's also pretty high risk, but not as not as high as uh, question number one. And um, it's um it's pretty low reward actually. So medium risk, low reward. And then we have uh, the third question: argumentative essay, which is what I'm gonna pick because it's low risk and medium reward. And uh, you know, I'm not that good at. A Chinese, so, uh, you know, uh, so, you know, um, the topic, I don't know what in the world will they give us for the topic of the argumentative essay, so I, I came up with a few right here, um, and I also, uh, you know, I looked through the internet, and I tried to find some interesting examples, you know, to back up my argument in the essay, so, I don't know why, but I still have this creeping feeling that I'm gonna fail this exam tragically, even though I've kind of prepared for it a bit. Now you're looking at my biology notes, and then, uh, you know, a few pages backwards, we have chemistry. Uh, I'm, I'm worried about chemistry the most in the three electives, uh, which are physics, physics, chemistry, and biology. And for physics, uh, it looks equally as confusing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I'm going to be honest here. Admittedly, I didn't revise much during the Christmas holiday, during the Christmas break, because I have all these projects. I have all these YouTube videos. I need to edit my Europe uh, videos. I have, um, yeah, I just have so much to do. So um, here's the thing. Um... I haven't written words in uh, f for a very, very long time, so I need to write a lot of words right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, I guess I just want to improve my handwriting as all. Well. Let's write some Chinese, all right. All right, let's write some Chinese words. Okay. Yep, that's some Chinese words right there. It's 12, um, 42, I think. Yeah, 42. Um, in the morning of January 2nd right now, and just about seven hours later, seven and a half hours later, I'm going to have 
the exam, my first exam, and, um, uh, if there's one thing that I can, I can say that's good is that I don't feel extremely scared and worried right now, but I'm, I still feel so unprepared. I still feel like something's missing. I feel like I haven't done something. I don't know what it is, but I, there, there's something that I, that I didn't do and it's gonna really mess me up. I'm not really that good, um, in Chinese writing and, um, I'm probably not going to be that good tomorrow as well. For English writing, I'm in a more interesting situation because I am, I, I don't know why, but Usually, my English writing doesn't end up that well, so I don't know how will it end up tomorrow. So I guess the only thing that I can do right now is to cross my fingers that tomorrow I will hold my pen steady and have my brain on, I guess, super speed mode and super smart mode, and hopefully I would be able to make it out alive, and, um, good luck to me, good luck to me, this is now or never, I'm going to bed right now, and I have to face up all this like a real man, I guess, all right, um, it's January the 2nd, and it's 11.08 p.m. right now, and um, today is the first day of the exam. Uh, we have a very non-climactic beginning. Um, it's weird to use the word non-climactic or anti-climactic for, you know, a beginning. But usually, you know, it starts off with a bang. But no. But no, today, um, in fact, we have a Chinese exam, Chinese writing exam. An English writing exam. For Chinese writing, I was actually pretty worried. Um, there are three questions, just like I've mentioned. And um, I picked number three, of course. But the topic of the question is unpredictably difficult. Um, it's an argumentative essay. More like an essay. It's not argumentative or anything. Just an essay about silence. All right. An essay about silence. And, you know, usually the way people would approach this kind of essay would be, you know, two good things about silence and two bad things about silence. So I spent around 10 minutes trying to think of examples for, you know, what's good about silence? What's bad about silence? Um, yeah. I have really good examples for, you know, why you shouldn't be silent, but I don't have enough good examples for why you should be silent. You know, the whole Me Too movement, you know, that's like a good example because the teachers love them, love the whole, you know, thing. And um, for the English writing, uh, apparently we don't have a short story writing. Uh, so, shit. Um, for part A, uh, we had to write a, a, a reply slip, you know, like, like a notice. And um, I don't know, I don't think I did that well for part A. But for part B, we had to either write a short story review or uh, a letter, a letter of request. And of course, I wrote the review. And you know me, I, uh, I actually write stories uh, of my own. And uh, I wrote a review, and I I reviewed my own shit. So I I had a lot to write. You know, I kept on complimenting the writer, saying that he has a lot of passion. He he has a lot of uh, ambition for the story. Yada yada. And um, I was actually pretty satisfied with part B. Uh, yeah, and you know, I'm a critic, so I do reviews like 
every week. So here we go. Hey, um, uh, I just woke up and uh, right now it's around 9.45. Oh shit, it's 10 a.m. January 3rd. And the reason why I don't have to go to school today in the morning is because um, it's supposed to be like it's computer exam and I don't take that class so I don't have to go but however I will have to go to school in the afternoon for the English uh, speaking exam and um, I, I'm gonna go earlier actually because I want to have lunch with Cedric all right folks it's January 3rd uh, and it's 10 29 p.m right now and um today's a really interesting day it's the second day of exam and it's english speaking but um this is also the day um where cedric decided to meet us for one last time before he returns to scotland and um i i really miss him first of all i, I really want to say that i mean no homo but uh, he's my He's my best friend. Uh, so basically, I am. Um, I went to school like. In the morning. Oh yeah, you saw the video, right? I don't have to go to school in the morning because, it's you know computer exam ICT. It's not computer. It's ICT, but, AKA computer ICT stands for information. And. C creative technology, I think, but yeah, basically. And I don't take that class, so I don't have to do go to school. And um, so I have to go to school afternoon for the English uh, speaking exam group discussion. Uh, everyone has to take the exam. And uh, before that, I had to arrive school, not school necessarily, arrive nearby school to meet up with Cedric and friends to have lunch together. And, uh, you know, of course, Natalie decides to have Hot Pot again because, you know, why not? You know, a bunch of teens running out of ideas or no, not really running out of ideas, just that. Yeah, I mean, I was a little sick of Hot Pot, but the Hot Pot we had today is actually really, really good. It's kind of expensive, but... I guess it's kind of worth it because it's not that bad actually. Um, you know, we had our own plates of uh, meat. Again, if you don't know what a hot pot is, it's a hot boiling pot of soup. We put raw food in it and it gets cooked and we eat it. We dip it in sauce and we eat it. Simple as that. And you know, meat, veggies, meatballs, fish balls, yada yada, tofu. And, and it was a lot of fun. It was uh, it was pretty awesome. Um, I, I have to say that, you know, a lot of people were there as well. Leo, Pink, Christopher, Adam. Um, okay, um, let, let me think. Tom is over there. Uh, AJ. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, Harry and, and Derek as well. And then after the lunch... Uh, we all went to Starbucks and we just sat there for as long as possible and and some of us had to leave because we have the exam now everybody's exam for English speaking is different so uh, you know Leo and pink goes first and then Harry also has to go first because they're the first round and then I'm in the third or fourth round so I have to go they arrive like I went there first and then they went back and then it's like and then I went back and then Natalie and Adam went and you know it's this back and forth thing yeah and the whole time Cedric stayed in Starbucks and I also tried to hit Jordana up um you know um Jordana was like okay you guys hang out I'm not gonna join in and I was like nope you should join too so uh she joined after the English exam and um it was it was not that and Oliver and Kingsley also joined at the end and we had to revise maths and uh, yeah at the end nothing that eventful happened um Christopher still being a douchebag to me for weird reasons 
and um, I miss Cedric. Um, you know, we said goodbye before he went onto the bus back home. And end of story. Hopefully he, you know, he has a great life over there in Scotland again. And when he arrives at the Edinburgh airport next Monday, uh, it's going to be snowing. So I look forward to that, to him seeing snow for the first time. I haven't seen snow for the, you know, I haven't seen snow in my life as well. So anyway, let's do some maths. Let's solve some problems and it will be fun. You know what? We'll just pick a random one and we'll do it. Um, this one, because it looks interesting. Uh, um, TB is the tangent to the circle at A. DT intersects C, yada, yada. DC is the diameter. If AD equals to AT, find a ATD. Okay, well, shoot. Okay, first of all, uh, we can do this, and we'll get a 90 degree, and that's pretty much all I know. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, uh, shit, I don't know anything. Okay, okay, um, so we know that these two are, you know, the same length, and, uh, crap, uh, <laughs> Okay, this equals to this. And, and, you know, this equals to this. Yeah, it's all three of these angles are the same. So, let's say this is x, right? It's 3x plus 90 degrees is 180 degrees because angle sum triangle right so in my calculator my okay crap 90 degrees yep and then divided by 3 it's 30 so the answer is b all right let's do another one in the figure p q and r s are perpendicular chords yep i can see that o is the center and uh that's pretty much it all right, find S, R, Q. Okay, here we go. I think I've found the solution. So I joined P, S, S, Q, and Q, R so that there will be a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay, quadrilateral, whatever. Uh, and this is, um, you know, 360 minus 210. It's 150. All right, so angle P, O, R is 150. Now, with this, I can find angle PQR because angle at center is twice as large as the angle at the circumference, which means uh, which means this angle, angle PQR, is 150 divided by 2, 75. Now, you have that one, and you also have, you know, okay, let me grab this pen. You also have this one. And, you know, 180 minus 75 minus 90, you'll get 15. So, it's A, 15. So, basically, this is our, you know, what we have to study for maths uh, so far in 11th grade. Measurements of dispersion, uses and abuses of statistics. We have basic properties of circles. Tangents to circles, uh, crap, equations of circles, and locus. So, uh, it's, uh, January 5th, uh, 3.25 p.m. right now, and, um, yesterday, uh, we had the maths exam, and after lunch, we had the Chinese-speaking group discussion exam. And let's talk about maths first. Um, I didn't really uh, revise maths all that much because I'm pretty confident at maths, uh, to be honest. Um, but, um, you know, yeah. So, again, like last year, it's uh, you need to do maths exam for three hours. And it's separated into two parts. One, 
hour and 45 minutes for paper one and one hour and 15 minutes for paper two. Paper one are all long questions, uh, long math problems, and all paper two are uh, multiple choice questions. Paper one is not that hard. Uh, there are some difficult bits here and there, but I still managed to pull through. I still managed to complete the entire thing. Uh, I just made a couple of very stupid mistakes uh, because I wasn't careful enough. Uh, I didn't read the qu uh, question careful, carefully enough. Uh, for paper two, it's even more easier. It's really, really easy. I completed it all in time. There's only one question that I don't know how to do. Uh, Jordana says it's hard. I disagree. And then at lunch, um, yeah, we I had lunch with the boys and all, and uh, it was pretty boring. I and Nick, we revised a lot. We talked a lot. And then around 3 o'clock, I went back to school with Nick uh, to prepare for the Chinese group discussion exam. And I'm super nervous. Uh, if it's English, I'm fine. Chinese, no. Not fine. All right? Uh, but, you know, anyway, uh, you know, I still tried my best, all right? I tried to talk smoothly, talk naturally. I tried to come up with good points. And um, uh, basically, you know, they give you a question and there are three options. And, you know, you know, and they ask you which one do you prefer. So it's a th we have uh, five people in one group. And in my situation, it's 3v1v1, and I'm in the three, so I'm in the majority, so I'm safe, all right? Uh, yeah, um, it's okay, I guess. It's not terrible, but, you know, it's also not that great or anything. It's just okay. So, um, I came up with a, you know, yeah, uh, I want to, uh, revise chemistry because I don't want to die, and I came up with a plan, um, First of all, I'm going to revise my assignments, review my assignments, uh, and uh, I'm going to try and make some cue cards out of some important um, information uh, from the chemistry textbook, and uh, I'm going to try to do some uh, past papers, um, you know. So I'm revising, but uh, meanwhile, I'm going to eat this burger gummy candy. In celebration of me finally changing my profile picture, uh, Instagram profile picture, uh, yeah, it's it's been a while and it's 2019, so I'm changing it for good. So I'm gonna put my uh, profile picture up here. Um, yeah, the lighting is weird. I know, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> very good. I spent hours and hours uh, making this this profile picture. Okay, this is stuck. There we go. And uh, yeah, I um, it was worth it though. It wasn't. I thought it would be cringy, but no, it's not really that cringy. I think it's pretty good actually. Yeah. And basically, what happened this morning? Um. Early in the morning, actually not that early, around 10 p.m. My mom brought me and my brother to the cinema, to the movies. Uh, not to watch a movie, of course, but to watch my own movie, my own video. Because, uh, as you can recall, um, I joined a short film competition not too long ago. And um, they've decided to put all the good short films in a in a cd and play it in the cinema and uh, the participants of the competition can go there and watch it and when we arrived almost no one was there only like around 10 maybe and uh but, but still there are a lot of um a lot of the short films and like 90% of them are about school. And, um, you know, because we are all students. And, um, yeah, but some of them are, are pretty bad, actually, in my opinion. Some of them are actually pretty good, too. Some of them did horror. Um, some of them did documentaries as well. 
also. Today is a Saturday. And tomorrow is a Sunday. Which means Cedric is leaving. He's leaving Hong Kong. And returning to Scotland. So. Um, you know. I miss him. I really do. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, you know, today's Sunday, and from tomorrow till the next Friday, it's going to be the most insane five days uh, in, in exam history. So, my score today is to revise Chinese, then I'll try to do some biology, try to revise some biology, and then we'll move on to revise what's going to be tomorrow, which is LS, essay writing. So tomorrow is the LS exam, and I have zero idea on how to revise and how to get high score for LS exam. And right now, I'm just trying to figure out what the hell is going on in here. All right, it's currently 10.25 p.m. in January 7th. I just um, printed myself some worksheet uh, for um, two days later for the Chinese exam, which is uh, the most difficult exam of all time. Um, so today we had the LS exam, as you can recall. And um, I, it's, a, it's a really strange subject. Um, it's essentially essay writing. Yeah, well, anyway, it's essentially like writing an essay. And um, for the first paper, uh, we, we also have two papers for LS and, um, yeah, uh, shoot, now I'm kind of scared. What's behind me? Okay, anyway, paper one, they give us one hour and 45 minutes, and we have to finish up seven questions and actually it's three questions but 1a 1b 2a 2b 2c 3a 3b so it's actually seven and basically seven essays some of them are shorter like they ask you to describe a graph a, a trend explain a cartoon and some of them are really like in depth like two pages uh of, um, you know, you know, argumentative essay, you need to state your stance and all. And they only give us one hour and 45 minutes. A lot of us didn't make it. But fortunately, my time management game is on point and I managed to finish it in time. Um, I don't think I did it greatly, but hey, at least I finished it in time. And for paper two, uh, they allow us even more time, 75 minutes. Just for one question. They're going to give us three questions and we have to pick one out of the three. And in one question, we have A part and B part. And um, yeah, I, I finished it. And uh, it was about culture, art and culture of Hong Kong. So I had a lot to write. So I wrote a lot. And I don't know. I just hope that all this pen ink... And all this hard work is not going to go to waste. And it's going to give me a high score. And then after LS, we had, I had lunch with Leo, Pink, Christopher, Natalie, and Betsy. And then after that, we went to Pink's house and we revised. And then that's it. And um, it, was, it was pretty fun. Actually, it was pretty fun. Other than Christopher being a total douchebag... I think everyone else is pretty kind, pretty kind, yep.